new polls and numbers from the showdown contest. John King is at the Magic Wall. John? Anderson will show you first a big change in our Electoral College map. Then we'll go through some of those battleground states you just mentioned. Here's the math right now. Let's start with the math. It takes 270 to win. We're in the final 100 hours, and we give Barack Obama 291 electoral votes at the moment. John McCain trailing a bit. Now, John McCain's down a little bit from yesterday. Why is that? Look up here. North Dakota is now a toss-up. Three electoral votes. Those are now toss-ups because of polling and other data, anecdotal evidence from the state. That is now a toss-up. Another thing we've done is this used to be, this is John McCain's home state. It was once a solid Red. Now we just have it as leaning McCain. That is another dynamic. Louisiana has gone to dark red, safe for McCain on that map. So there's an encouraging note there. But as you look at the math right here, 291 to 160, we switch over and go to some of these states. Let's take a look as we go into the final weekend of campaigning. And we just mentioned Arizona. So let's go there and take a look. Why is that now a little less safe for McCain? Well, here's our poll of polls in the state of Arizona, 49-45, far too close for comfort if you are John McCain and you are the senior senator from the state of Arizona. Let's move over to some other battleground states. We come here, the bellwether state of Missouri has been right every time. The winner of Missouri in the past 100 years has gone on to win the White House. Look how tight this one is. 46 to 47, a slight improvement for John McCain, but essentially a dead heat in Missouri for a couple of weeks now. That one is going down to the very end. Other key battleground states, we will come over now to the state of Florida, come down here again, another tight one in a state that is always decisive in presidential politics, 48 for Obama, 45 for McCain, a slight downtick for Barack Obama over the past few days. We'll keep watching this one in the final hours. And Anderson, one more to go. I need to bring that down and get rid of it. And we'll go back up here to the state of Ohio. And again, a very key battleground state where you see a very close contest, slight advantage Barack Obama in our updated poll of polls. But you see, if you look at last week and today, or two, yesterday and today, you have a slight improvement. Obama comes down a little bit, McCain goes up a little bit, so a slight improvement from the Republicans standing there. But again, you go through these battleground states, some evidence, Anderson, of a bit of a tightening, but still a significant challenge for McCain. John, there's still a 7% of likely voters undecided nationally. Is that a lot this close to the election? Pollsters say it's actually a bit lower than normal. And when you mention that, I want to stretch out our map here and come into the District of Columbia, where I can actually show you our national poll of polls. And that shows you that 7% undecided, 50% to 43% with 7% undecided. Now, what most pollsters will tell you is the undecided in an election tend to break along with their demographic, meaning if you're a 55-year-old white male currently undecided, most of them will break with the rest of that demographic group. Same for an African-American and so on and so forth through. One of the key questions in this election, though, Anderson, is if you go back in past races involving African-American candidates, a significant number of those races, the undecided has broken against the African-American candidate, and many pollsters think it's a place people hide. They say they're undecided when they've already decided they won't vote for a black candidate. So that is something to watch in the end. Some pollsters say McCain is the Republican. The undecided will break a bit against Bush and the Republicans. But this could be an issue. The 7% right here, this could be a question as we go forward. That doesn't want to move. 7% there, that could be where we look at the race question in the final days.